Ready, baby? Ready for a new adventure? <laughs> from a scale from 1 to 10. How much do you hate me right now? <laughs> no comment. Yeah, it's 50 minutes past six. We woke up around five and this is definitely too early for both of us, not only for her, but today we're gonna check out some nice wine fields. That's why we wanna get up early to get like the nice morning light in. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> oh my god. This is not appropriate. <laughs> this is definitely not appropriate. <laughs> yep. Got some equipment here. Very excited. I really tried Vida, but no. So, how do you feel? Better? <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> my chai soy latte so yeah, I'm well. perfect <laughs> you don't hate me anymore now mm -mm. good <laughs> <laughs> ah! well, the original meets up but <laughs> hey what a what a nice sunrise hi right, Darren nice to meet you hi Misha bro yeah bro as a brat <laughs> early enough for the sunrise right? yeah, we're <laughs> look at yeah, that look, guys? look at that <laughs> look at the wheels here <laughs> Look at those wheels. Is this your car? All right. No, that's his. That's his. I'd your car? Say, yeah, unfortunately, I'm a bit of a. I'm an old school guy. So oh, yeah, uh, I see that. Damn, this thing is a beast. And there's no seat belts in it. This is pretty. That's because you're European. You're always worried about health and safety. You don't need health and safety in Africa, okay? <laughs> Drive it like you stole it. That's the rule, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so funny because I always, I always get hated for all the vlogs where I'm just sitting in the car without a seatbelt and people are like, oh Misha, you're not wearing a seatbelt. And now I, I, I can't say there is no seatbelt, so I'm, I'm actually fine this time. <laughs> get, the, get, get as high as I can. Ready? Three, two, one. Ah! Ah! Oh. oh shit. I have to calm down. All right, guys, so just to clarify, so how is this group came together? So it's pretty easy. So Norbert is working with Cameron and I met Cameron because I was sitting in Schecter's and I was talking with Sal, which somehow knows Cameron. <laughs> there you go. So therefore, but those guys already knew Dean before I knew him. But because I was drinking coffee with Jibril in Bali and talking with him about his friend Mike, which is a citizen of South Africa, I asked Mike if he can uh, hook me up with some tours and somehow he recommended me this guy here. And Shikur and Nadine, we already had them in the last vlog, I knew them because of Instagram. So you see, like, everything is connected to each other. Like, there's so many Family. people right here. Oh, yeah, and Darren, of course, is the business partner of Dean. So. Pretty crazy, small word. Like you drink, you drink a coffee in Bali, all of a sudden you're in South Africa shooting with like eight people. <laughs> Epic shit. So we have a uh, 10.30. And I think it's time for a little... Uh, <laughs> some fried fucking fries. What is this? 
Beetroot shibata. Ooh, looks sexy. With a lot of olives. A lot of olives, yeah. It's <laughs> messy. Those here are the ones with turkey breast. This is your thing here. I got jars sexy. full of salad. Sexy, sexy. <laughs> jars full of salad. And we're officially not allowed to film here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think it's, I mean, we didn't try to, we didn't try to hide it. I mean, we have like guns on the table. We have like those guys with the shirts. Not really obvious. <laughs> what, you with your microphone on top of it? Huh? You with your microphone? Yeah, I am with my microphone. Are you saying this is a camera? No, it's no, no. Like it's, a, it's a Mickey Mouse. Mouse. It's, 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 it's a it's, father and a son. No, it's, yeah. the, it's Mickey Mouse. <laughs> My son. <laughs> oh, I just realized we also got a salad with him. Hey, this is glass. This is nice. I'm usually, I'm usually in team no salad, but this salad... I think this salad is actually from this garden there, so... I think we're going to make an exception today. This is the dressing here? Yeah. No filming here. Three day notice. Uh, I was three days later. Are you Look, crazy? Dude, it's free. We're gonna take what, down it's that video from later. YouTube. It's Friday. We ah, got okay. a permit. Ah, yeah, yeah. I heard that. All right. It's here. <laughs> You're also filming? Are you crazy? We're also filming. Jesus Christ. Yeah, since we can't film here, I think we're just gonna hop to the <laughs> next place. <laughs> film everything, basically. Right. Just gonna yeah. hop to the next place where we actually are allowed to film. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, I've got the month of May. I guess you say, what can make me feel this way? My girl, my girl, my girl, talking about my girl. Actually arriving to the maybe final station already depends on how much we, how hard we're gonna go. It's Del, Del Air, yeah, how hard we drink. Del Air Graf. It's like the highest high society wine, uh, whatever here. Vineyard. Yeah, wine yard here. So we're oh. gonna get a wine tasting. Usually I don't drink, as you know, but when I do, I make sure that it's like the good stuff. Mm. So I just want to see how good the wine is because I have so much. So much clue of wine that I actually be able, going to be able to <laughs> give an objective rating. But uh, yeah, and let's see what what they can offer us. Maybe they have good vegan food. Hopefully, some more food, some more wine, babe. What do you oh, think? Good to me. Sounds good to you, huh? My yeah, is, so I might have two glasses. Yeah, I have to go to the gym after. This is going to be hard. Yeah. I, but I heard you're going to come with me. No. To film me. <laughs> I mean, this vlog couldn't be a perfect vlog without uh, some gym footage. What am I going to get? What are you going to get? You know what you're gonna get. Cape, the Cape Town, Cape Town, Cape Town emotions oh, rüberbringen, right, babe? Yeah, right. Camera inception. Also check the video out in vlog up, der jetzt gerade hochgegangen ist auf den englischen Channel, wenn ihr mal wissen Scenery sehen wollt. We're moving. Und wir, 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 We're moving. Hey. So, so far so good, huh? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Cheers. No video recording. So apparently, we're not allowed to shoot, so I try to be very undercover here. Wow, wow, we wow. Undercover? Yeah, yeah, all is undercover. All is undercover? What does that mean? But what is this? What is this? What is this? Look. What is this? What is this? What are those? You looked into it. All your viewers looked into it. <laughs> oh, Shikita. <laughs> what happened to you? I literally packed this in my suitcase as my wine tasting dress. Yeah. So <laughs> I had to wear it. <laughs> Babe, I found your sculpture of you. That's me? Well, no, no. Funny. The dick is way too small, there. <laughs> dick is way too small On for a me. On a cold day. Um, yeah. Where is it? Yeah. So. What, why is it the six wines so much more expensive? What, what, what is coming with that? So that's more good quality wine. So it's more... Oh, it no, has, uh, this one is worse or what? So no, it's not worse. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's still uh, the good quality wines. But the thing is this, is this more attention giving to the iconic wine. So it gives you more 
of a bitter taste as well. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's why. So, so um, just to give you a bit of an idea, there's actually two different Sauvignon Blancs mm -hmm. which we grow here on the estate. Mm -hmm. um, so just to uh, uh, show you how the characteristic is actually influenced. Um, the main difference would be that with the classic Sauvignon Blanc, the grapes are mainly grown here on the telegraph. Alors, nous trouver El vin meilleur de Sud-Africa et maintenant je veux essayer un peu El vin comme des boubelles, comme des boubelles. Michael Bublé, maybe, je, je ne sais pas, mais... Ok, so, what do you think, babe? Let me smell it. It smells like champagne, hein? Were you just saying anything or saying it? Yeah, it was an actual French. Yeah, yeah. But a very bad one. I, I almost <laughs> forgot everything. <laughs> You're going. Oh, I you know. Hold on, I'm just. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so. Yeah. Really? Guys are ready going in. Three hours later. Fine, fine. Um, if you can. That's enough. Not bad. Then it's the Yeah, Very good. Very, very good. Yeah. I like him. De nos amours, que reste-t-il de ces rejoints? Une photo, vieille photo de ma jeunesse. <laughs> oh, yeah, finally some cold brew and some bread because I really try to soak up all the wine because I'm getting really drunk here and we still have to go on and shoot. What's the next stop, bro? We are going through Stellenbosch. We're going to do like a quick five minute stop and walk through Dorp Street. And then we're going to go to Spear to do some cheetah encounter. Cheetah! Cheers. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's not that bad, but I actually yeah, feel the alcohol. I, I do too. Right? Yeah. So I had like, we, we, we actually had six glasses, but the, but the waiter <laughs> was so nice because I thought like we we're going to share those six glasses. We paid for three and we got like nine. But then he had like, yeah, let's just share. Like, we're going to give it you to you for free. You have to have a comparison, another comparison. Yeah, and I was like, oh my gosh, okay. But yeah, it's not that bad for if you do that once in your life, but uh, I wouldn't go to wine tasting like more than once a year probably or not even and there's still people they actually uh, say that one glass of wine a day or one glass of wine a week is totally fine or even healthy and I can assure you guys it's not like alcohol is definitely not healthy even just one glass one glass a week it's still it's still poison, but uh, Silhouetted. Me, but Mish. it's okay. Mish, would you like me to carry you from here? Yeah, please carry me. <laughs> ah. Okay, hold on. Ah. <laughs> so we have a problem here. Our tour guide Dean actually miscalculated a little bit on the on the place, so we're not at the cheetah farm yet. But there's some other animals, so let's let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Look at this one! Oh wow! So social! Hi! Hi little baby! I want to touch you! Is it okay to touch them? Oh! Look! They're so social! Hey! <laughs> oh! <laughs> You have to give them both one, babe. Is it nice? It's just corn. They eat corn. Look, he's starving. Just give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> he's chewing it on the fence. Oh my god. How cute. So cute. Little pigs. Yeah. Little Misha's. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, for us, every animal has the same value, like just because we didn't see cheetahs today. Yeah, sorry, but how do you want to eat this, you guys? How do you want to eat that little baby? <laughs> that's not bacon, that's a baby. Yeah, I think we should just like take it all in here and take... Let's see if we can get an eagle on your arm, let's grab them. An eagle? 
Yeah. Ooh, that's See a good compromise. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So this is a good place here. Supporting. Yeah, saving the eagles. Supporting the it's eagles. It's not a tourist scam. No, it's definitely not a tourist scam. There's nobody here. <laughs> yeah, actually. This is a self-funding, 100% non-profit place. Yeah. And that's how we do it. Yep. They got permission to do it because with these birds, um, the mom will lay two eggs, uh, and then we basically get permission from the government to take the one because the two siblings will actually fight to the death. Mm. Mm. So we take the one away, so they both end up surviving. So it's the one. <laughs> okay. So she would have been the one to have died. Okay. Oh no. What a nice day. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice to just like have a nap right there? Yeah. But everybody wants to go home, so I have to go with the have to go go with the group, with the <laughs> flow. With the flow. But uh yeah, it was really nice. Like I actually feel like we didn't see enough of Cape Town. Like we're here for a month almost, but we saw more <laughs> in the last two days, in the last two blocks than like in the rest of the <laughs> of the whole stay. Yeah. But I mean that's that that's the thing, you know, like I, I see traveling not as a stressful thing like i can come back here uh, i had a lot to do here too like i worked i go to the gym five times a week that's that's how my life works that's why i can do that because i i take my my duty very serious and that's why even after this whole day i would love to just go home and chill but i'm gonna go and hit the gym because today my overload week starts so that means heavy incline bench press a lot of pulling movements a lot of delt work and finishing up with the arms because they won't do you harms. <laughs> so you're gonna hear from me in the next vlog. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show you how miserable I'm gonna be in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> but if you like the vlog, guys, be sure to share it with your friends, share it with the people who love animals, share it with the people who love travel, who love the lifestyle we're living, and also be sure to check this guy's company out. What's up? Because <laughs> Dean really makes a good job here not only with being a, a travel guide almost but also with just like showing us how easy it is to, to, to vlog just with a just with an iPhone you know it's all like, you need like he, he he vlogs the whole day with the iPhone with this thing he just looks cool he, that's why he <laughs> needs this thing too but he basically <laughs> makes all his magic with his iPhone so if you guys think that you could like step up your vlog game maybe to the next level be sure to check out his channel too because he basically shows people how to get like those little twigs because when i uh, when i see people traveling like like holidays they usually just walk around with their selfie stick that's everything they do and then they're never going to watch it again i think the important part is to learn what to film so that you get the shots you need so you pack your phone away and enjoy your holiday like yeah. we, we it, enjoyed today it wasn't yeah. just like we went out to make a shoot we enjoyed our time mm -hmm. yeah and, important part. And, and still you have like a project you're gonna look back in five years you're gonna watch the video I'm gonna laugh my, my ass off you know <laughs> and that's what you should also do like go on holidays and take it in but also document a little bit because then you have like a, a memory you don't have to buy souvenirs and all that shit just go with your camera with your iPhone do Follow you channel. do you do you yeah thanks for watching guys Thanks for editing, Serena. <laughs> Hashtag likes for star. And we're out! Peace!